G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this time of year, it's a nervous time for parents, for young adults. I've just looked at my calendar and it seems to be exams time. Now as a person who completed their VCE, um, surprise to a few of you probably, I thought I'd give some great advice as to, you know, how to deal with the pressure, how to, uh, you know, overcome your hurdles and pretty much how to just, uh, I've got no advice. I, I shouldn't have done year 12. Now year 12 for me it was a pretty difficult year, um, the D's won two games which was fun. I did a back injury and um, you know couldn't play footy, couldn't really sit in class so I had a bit of issues there. And my house was bloody haunted so give me a break. But the thing about year 12 is you can't let outside influences affect you, you can't let stuff like that interfere with your studies. So I dug deep, I put my head down, I put my bum up, and I worked hard. I bulldozed through all the work, I smashed through every sack, and I got a 29.75 ATAR. So, now 29.75, you might think, geez, that's real low. And um, it's not, it's lower than real low. And it makes you wonder, like, oh, Kados, you probably didn't go to many classes. Um, you know, you probably didn't study, you didn't bother. Um, no, I did. I went to every class that I could and um, yeah, I studied quite a bit. I just, in one ear, out the other. I remember the day I found out about the ATARs. I had no idea that the ATARs were coming out. Um, you know, wasn't kept in the loop because I just didn't care, really. Honestly, didn't care. So everyone was messaging each other, what did you get? What did you get? Oh, I got a 54, got a 60, got a 70. No one that I knew really got much higher. We're not that smart. And then everyone's like, what did you get, DOS? What did you get? And I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go on the webs and I'll have a sus. And I clicked onto this thing and it said 80% or something. It said 80. And I went, holy hat. I've fluked an 80. I'm a smart man. I'm a genius. Told my mum. Got 80, mum. Don't you stress. Um, but then quickly realised if you scroll down a little bit more, it's got your actual ATAR. And it was 29.75. Rounding up, it's 29. Point eight. My dad texted me, he's like, hey, I paid for all your schooling. What was your ATAR? So I replied, I'm like, yeah, dad, look, um, I got 29.75. And then he replied, no, seriously, what did you get? And I said, look, no, um, seriously, I got 29.75. Rounding up though, 29.8. And then I never saw my dad again. So, study, if that's the lesson. But I didn't go to uni, and I don't think there's a big deal about not going to uni, unless you want to be a doctor and you get a bad ATAR. You're fucked. And I definitely enjoyed high school. There was parts of high school that I absolutely loved. You know, I met good mates, um, good supportive mates. Innovative. Gosso's <laughs> pronunciation of innovative. But also, I met like some girls there. To say I'm a Romeo or a Casanova is probably um, a little bit too far. <laughs> But um, yeah, here's some of the conversations that I had back in year 12 with, with girls. I wrote to this poor young female, do you have Snapchat? She wrote, hey, yeah, I do. I said, add Kados38. He goes, all right. I said, you better. So I feel like that's a little bit forced. I feel like that's um, pushing the issue a little bit too much. The next one's a, a favorite of me and my mates. It was quite late at night and I wrote to this young lady. I said, g'day. And then she goes, sup, sorry, I'm off to sleep, haha, <laughs> night mate. So that's a quick exit if I've ever seen one. And then a phrase that went around my mates was plus. And it wasn't please, but it was haha <laughs> plus. So we played down ball and, and a lot of people would say, I'd beat you in down ball. And then the answer would be like haha <laughs> plus, like ah oh, plus. It was just like a, a thing we'd say. So I wrote ha 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 plus. And then she goes, why? <laughs> so I reckon, she thinks that I've said, can you please talk to me? Like late at night I've messaged her, please, please talk to me. <laughs> I was kidding with the plus, but I had a feeling that you would be off to bed. Haha, <laughs> I'm just a little bored. If you're bored at night, don't message chicks. It never gonna end well. The other thing I think we all remember from high school is um, when your teacher is in a porno. Oh, you don't remember that? Well, that happened at my school. A teacher that I had for journalism was in a porno with a former student. Porn. Pornography. Sexual intercourse on camera with a former student. Which was just really weird, because I had him for journalism. 
and um, we had to do a speech and he just kept me behind to um, help me out with my oral presentation. Thanks, a low hanging fruit if I've ever seen it. I'm better than that. Maybe I'm not. If you're a teacher, don't go in pornos. Don't go in pornos. Anyway guys, I'm not sure if that'll help you with year 12, but that's just a bit of a story of uh, my schooling. To wrap it all up, I got a 29.758. Uh, but as you can see, you can still live the high life. I'm happier with a 29.758. Uh. You get a 29.758, uh, you're not gonna be happy. You're not gonna be happy. Uh, I need to get a grip.